Hi, I'm Gabby, and this is the second episode in Transition Town Mount Hawthorne video on home composting. In today's video, local composting expert Kim will show us the different ways to capture your organic waste into a viable potting mix. So Kim, what are the different types of home composting? Uh, yes, Gabby, uh, beside of burying your food in your garden, uh, the old way, old, met old method, uh, there are three major ways you can do it. Um, the uh, Bokashi method is an anaerobic um, way of converting your uh, organics in a, uh, a bucket style uh, capturing system. Uh, you have the uh, worm tray system or worm tube system. We use uh, an aerobic uh, method, low temperature, um, of converting your organics. And you have the composting, hot composting bin, uh, where you're actually utilizing a, uh, a hot uh, system uh, aerobically by aerating your compost mix and converting it. And which of these methods is the least smelly? All of the methods shouldn't smell. Uh, if they smell, it's an indication you're doing something wrong. So, uh... And for someone who's starting composting for the first time, what method would you recommend that is the simplest? Uh, we found the uh, worm farming is combining many of the other methods. Uh, worm farming uh, uh, in a tray type system, you're harvesting a liquid that comes out and uh, you're getting the castings uh, as a finished potting mix. How about if you're quite busy, what would you recommend for someone who doesn't have much time? Uh, being very busy uh, uh, still uh, would suit a worm farm. Um, if you happen to be away a lot uh, and infrequent uh, uh, feeding of your uh, system, the Bokashi is quite a good solution. Um, it is high in cost though because you have to feed the anaerobic bacteria to your Bokashi on a regular basis. And for large homes, say a family of four that cooks quite often? A uh, large family it would be uh, fantastic if you can accommodate a uh, hot composting method combined with a, uh, a worm farming or worm farm uh, where the compost after it's finished after in usually two weeks um, is fed into your worm farm uh, for further converting into a finished product. Yeah. And what about small yeah. homes, say with one or two people that don't cook quite that often? Um, there I would say it's just a simple worm farm would do it and uh, uh, fix your problem of converting your organics. Well thanks King. Kim, thank That's you right. for joining us today and I hope that you've found a method that suits your home. In the next episode we'll be looking at one of these methods. Which method? That's up to you. Please vote on this link here and tell us which you'd like to see next. I've been walking on